they are alive and they live. They are those who live in the darkest places and who lived on earth before and the stars were right for their living. They walk unseen and foul in lonely places where the words have been spoken and the rites howled at their seasons. The wind gibbers with their voices and the earth mutters with their consciousness. Now it mutters in the They could plunge from world to world through the sky, but when the stars were wrong, they could not live and were entombed in the earth or fled to other more hospitable worlds, waiting for the time now to live again. And so they whispered in the darkness, for an outside force must encamp the rights that forced their release. We live in the end times. We live in the apocalypse. And what of the end times, the times of fire? The shards have broken, the edges pale. The change is done, the blood is sore. The second to black is shrouded to light. Two are joined, the might of pales, joined by the fattened flesh in hand, the tilt of laugh, the laughing wind. Cracked and ruined, the marble stands, nothing spoken, all my see. Tearing of senses, the veil screams, screams for the call, no more he cries, and then he sees, for they stand in the dark, they fight night. She serves her life, but it is a pity she won't have. abominations like the thing you saw in that room back there. There aren't any creatures in Innsmouth Bay that destroyed a submarine with a hundred innocent men on board. There isn't anything in the midst of the Pacific Ocean rising to rip all this humanity to weeping and gibbling shards. I Corellia Santanic San Etoselis, I Corellia Santanis. Nothing, none of that is happening. And most especially, none of it is happening to you. Oh no, 
what we should do yet. You know more about what's going on than I do. Yes, I suppose I do. But that's the whole problem. No one really knows what's happening now. You're late. We'll catch you. That is not your concern. There we hope you have something positive to report. Hope what you like. I'm here because you called me. Yes, indeed we did. And thank you for attending. We, of course, still we call your assistance in the field. I had no part in that. Well, the assistance field department then. You've forgotten the death Christ, you really. You asked for my presence at your council. I've taken time I can ill afford to spare to be here. What would you like to discuss? Ill afford to spare. You are called. You will be here. I am not at your beck and call, General. As I believe you have learned before. We speak in the name of our master, mighty Cthulhu. You will hear and obey. But I do not serve Cthulhu. I am currently employed adjusting the operational climate of the reallocation. It keeps me busy. I repeat, what would you like to discuss? The plot of the joint is well under control. The last one that to have you both mind. You wish to talk about the security of Delta Green. Delta Green is secure, a fact which is my concern. Even your past history, even your current role, your lack of cooperation, you might be receiving security. You will receive a report as soon as possible. Will that include details on your little road difficulty? We're dealing with that matter internally. Be careful, after all. Music, <laughs> argument. In this house of twilight, the food is You will no longer be working alone. For some reason, Joan has received an interest in your world. They would appreciate that seeking a sense of freedom. How fortunate. I've just heard they're headed toward Arkham. One more thing. I'd just like to say that we understand and appreciate your work talking about the world about as well. We know it's so much work, and I can say that we can't only succeed in the way you've actually thought. What do you think? We will soon consider for us only. Thank you, sir. It would be a great honour. No one really knows what exactly happened. Obviously, we all know about the macroscopic detail, but very few people have made a study of the end time. Certainly in Delta Green, we were too busy fighting the dangers of the immediate to worry about perils that might never come in our lifetime. I think we thought if we fought hard enough, they would never come forever, and it will last a very long time, I think, no matter how much of a position they may get about. Mm -hmm. Nice allegory. What are you implying? I do not see the implication where there is not. What do you want from us, poet? I think that all we can hope is the end has almost come, but not quite. There was an incident like that in 1929. The boundaries are almost shattered, but can be repaired. The boundaries have been completely rent asunder. The great old ones, left from the stars in time and memorial, have seen those stars. Then we've got to fight them on their own terms. 
They aren't immune to some of the rituals. I've only seen a few of their avatars. Malcolm, they'll squash you like an ant. What do you need to be for? Simply, the call is functional. Shut the fuck up. Is there any single reason why they're coming back? Anything you can reverse? I don't know. I, I don't know. But that's the problem. We don't know how far the time to fall on or what will happen. So how can we find out? We have to go back to the sources. Camp's books. They told of the end times. All of them. The Necronomicon, the Libra Ivonius, and Sprechen Compton. All of them said something about the time when the old ones would rise again. But they're held at Delta Green HQ. We've got no chance of getting to them there. What about the civilian library? I heard Harvard had some text, but not a complete collection. In Chicago? Wouldn't have any. Cambridge? We couldn't get there. And I haven't any access to the stack. what about... Whoa, wait. Camp train there. And he corresponded with them. It's small and might have escaped Teller's attention. In Massachusetts. Derby Library. Miskatonic University. All right, we need... No. Damn. With him gone, we've still got to get to the Miskatonic. And to do that, we've got to find something that can get tracked in the glitch. Ha. Simple. Simple if I still have to clear it. As it is. Markham, follow me and I'll tell you what we're doing on the way. I'm Eleanor Johnson. You called me in about my thesis. Of course. We think of you in your submission, darling. And we just like you to clarify a few points about which the board is quite feel comfortable. Please sit down. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Yes, isn't it? Yeah. Now then, one of your main points, I believe, is that Chaucer could be considered too nearly to continue into the long literary tradition. Of course, you are aware that contravenes a popularly accepted theory on the subject. Yes, but that's another thing I knew within the research. I wrote my doctoral dissertation based on this. Why then? Surely you knew about Bronzenbaum's research, too. You don't know who... I I'm sure you must have had good reason. Yes, you are a good cow. What? Um, is there anything else? Mm, no, not really. I must say, darling, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. Oh, thank you. Yours is really unusual. Did you make it yourself? Can I go now? Of course you can. Stop by once you finish the revision. You'll never embarrass me again, you stupid little hole. Ah! Hello. Oh, my darling. Wonderful. You'll be here tomorrow. Mwah. Lovely, sweetie. Talk to you later. Stay behind me and keep into the shadows. They'll see you anyway, but I hope they'll think you're under my window. I didn't realize there were so many shadows. Oh, yeah. There were a lot of them anyway, but after 2000, they became a regular phone. How many rounds do you have left of that thing? 34. 21 in the magazine. But I may need my hands free. I'm not even happy about you coming here, but all right. Let's go. Oh my God! Sorry, how long did you two... None of your fucking business. Let's go. Hey, what have we got here? Someone come to visit the church of Mordita? I've come here to bargain, Mordita and Drawler. We need passage to Arkham in Massachusetts without problems with the glitch. Oh, hell you. And it's going to be bargain with your can. You don't play with our food. Look again, Ruler. The shackle here is under my protection, and we don't touch the lies. You don't, huh? I see it. A skin shaker. And we'll give you the boat. Not your concern, Ruler. 
Will you aid your own kind? My own kind? One becomes the knee in her free disguise. And we won't even know what our cacks are. I don't think so. Let's see if she should replace Satan's gun. Sackers!